Hello there YouTube and welcome back to War Thunder. Today I'm going to be playing the M50 Ontos for the Americans. This is a rank 5 battle rating 6.7 tank destroyer with 6 106mm recoilless rifles. It comes with 4 50 cals on top here for spotting and one 7.62mm machine gun. The barrels come with 18 rounds of ammunition. That's 6 initial shots when you first start and then two reloads afterwards. Once you're done with that ammunition, you have to go to a capture zone and rearm or you're at the fight completely. So what I'm gonna quickly do is just go on to the modifications and then we get into arm and everything. So this, the ammunition you get for this is absolutely free. We get Hesh with 152 millimeter pen and we also get heat with 181 millimeters of pen other than that really not much is going on i will switch to customization and change to the tropical one there we go now you can actually see the tank the reason being all those bushes are on now is simply because there is just no protection for the crew that is inside this. 13 millimeters of armor, effective thickness 28.8, but to be quite honest, I've played this enough to get it spaded without gold, and I've just been wrecked. Anytime any sort of high caliber machine gun comes along, whether it's on the top of a Russian tank, or it's um, like Russian 50 cals from um, the P-47, it rips straight through this every single time without foul. This part here where the radiator sits behind 10 millimeters of thickness, a massive weak spot. The sides are the same, very weak. So if you have got access to the bushes, I would suggest covering this in as many bushes as you can fit on it. Now, it is a pretty nippy tank, 30 miles an hour, and it is pretty low profile, so you can get away with being quite sneaky with this, and you will have to learn sneaky. If you've played the Type 60 for the Japanese, then you will have a feel for this already. It plays a very similar way. However, when you're firing the recoilless rifles and you're sat here, um, the left will fire, then the right, then the left, then the right, but you'd slightly have to compensate because they're so far out. Unlike the Type 60 where the two barrels are a lot closer, these are further apart. At long distances, it's fine. It doesn't really matter too much if it's over a thousand meters. You can pretty much keep the crosshair dead on target however at close range you will find yourself switching from one side to the other just to get the kills now when i found out this was being introduced into game i was actually really excited i played a game back in the day on the playstation 2 i think it was um, a vietnam era game and there was an on toast in that and it was pretty good fun using that but i didn't know much about the tank so what I decided to do was just jump onto YouTube, typed in M50 on toast documentary and came up with a video of a couple of veterans that were in Vietnam and used the on toast in the Vietnam conflict. And they spoke a lot about this vehicle, um, how much they sort of really weren't looking forward to it and shit like that because they they signed up for m60 they signed up for tanks and there was a shortage of them at the time so they got given one of these and they were like meh <laughs> but the documentary was really good it was actually quite informative i'll put a link in the description below for you guys so you can check it out if you want and they just talk about their experiences with this tank and as they're talking and remembering everything, what struck me was the fact that he was talking about when one of the Ontos were hit and he had to try and rescue the crew. And he mentioned a driver, a loader and a gunner. And that's where I was a little bit like, huh? Eh? because if I switch to 
the x-ray mode you will notice there is only two crew in here now if this bloke was in Vietnam in the 60s in an Antos and he remembers a driver a gunner and a loader where the hell is the loader did war finder makes a boo-boo <laughs> I think so and what what is dumb as fuck as well which really gets me is I had to research an extra modification okay we don't have last man standing anymore we all said in one big loud voice we don't want last man standing fucking get rid of it okay modifications what the hell is that why did I research crew replacement for a two-man crew if one of them dies you're dead end of the game that's it you're out bye bye go back to the hangar be gone with you so why did I research an extra modification I either put the extra crew in or take that modification away and give me my silver lines back and my RP <laughs> simply simply fuck's sake Warfinder it's, it's the same as the Chiri and I've already been through this and it pisses me off because they haven't changed the name. They haven't changed the name on the Chi Re. It is not a Chi Re 2, it is a Chi Re. The Chi Re 2 was, was to be equipped with a Japanese Type 5 88mm converted anti aircraft gun. That is not the tank we have in game. We have the Chi Re. And it's simple shit like that that annoys me. Do you know how long it took me to find this properly? It took me all of five seconds on YouTube to get a, a documentary about this and then if you go to Google which is a very simple tool guys you can you can use this one as well it's free for people in Russia if you have access to it you can use this and find that shit about other shit and then put it into your game so you don't look like you're being idiots okay I will put a link in the description below and I'll also put it up on screen for you guys to see as well But on Wikipedia, took me five seconds, M50 on toast, wiki, and bang, there you go. There's the stats, this is the tank, um, everything about it, free man crew. Free man crew. I mean, seriously, you know, what is going on with these guys? Right, let's just jump some gameplay before the rant gets any more. Oh, and before I go, hang on. Hang on, I just gotta rub it in. I gotta rub it in because he always watches my videos. He's a good guy. But Phage, doodly bird. <laughs> he loves this camouflage. And for Christmas, he won this one. He won this one. Dig dick. And he is so pissed off because he hates that camouflage. And to be quite honest, I don't really like it either. But I won this one for like the summer event last year. So Phage, yeah, look at the doodly bird. Look at the doodly bird. <laughs> right, I'm going to jump some gameplay, guys. I hope you enjoy. Welcome to a bit of post-gameplay commentary, guys. Just to show you guys what I was actually saying in the hangar before we get into the main body of the gameplay. When using this at medium to um, short range, you have to compensate for the distance between the left and the right barrels now wait until this guy stops and you'll see what I mean so that one dead on target good shot so I'll shift to the right side and fire but unfortunately I think that hit the rock shift again and fire for the kill so there's one down as you'll see I've got one shot left and I've got two reloads so I'm gonna take a shot at this pamphlet down here and I'm going to miss, technically. It missed. So when this reloads, you will see six barrels loaded, one reserve um, reload. And then you will have to go to the cat. And you can spam these out quite quickly at close range. But I wouldn't suggest doing it at long range. It tends to lose its accuracy if you just go bang, 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 and it blinds you as well. So be aware of that. Don't be silly. Don't spam them. Pick your targets at medium range. Short range, just blast the bastards if you have to. But get the kill. Don't get shot. 
So I'm going to move up in a second and get some more ammunition. There is a stern a mill just up there on the rocks. Also, guys, I want you to see just how long it takes to rearm this when I'm on the cap. So here's a stern and mill. And again, short range. So that's a miss. That one's a hit. I have to adjust my aim slightly again just to get the driver. And this is the problem with this. If there's shit in the way, because it's so far out, you just have to wiggle the barrels around until you get on your target and again I'm having to reload because although the Heshrans are good with the nerf for update 1.71 or recalculation of the damage model it's a bastard it's even more of a bastard to get a kill than it was before but there you go there's the kill and be aware wiggling a little bit to the bar with the barrels is the main thing long range it's okay short range you really need to be aware and be aware of planes as well guys whenever you're killing it it's usually the reload that does it yeah same with me mate but i'm not expert in it for the fucking um was it one million one hundred thousand i'm not I'll expert it when it comes to Christmas. Yeah, I'll save up my lines and then they'll all be fucking half price to expert and I'll buy myself the MiG-15 biz for the Russians and then I'll buy myself the American, um, the German one and I'll get myself the other Sabre for um, the Washington, call it, um, Americans. But I'm, I'm not expert in it. Oh my god, you missed that. That was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. 600 meters. Left barrel, kill. Right barrel, kill. <laughs> Spot on me. Bastard. Crew points go fucking nowhere these days. Yeah, I've noticed. I've got 500 odd saved up in um, the slot where I've got the P51 um, D30. 526. And for the tanks, it's next to nothing. For the planes, it's a decent amount, but for the tanks, it's useless. It's, I'm only going to get half a crew point for one um, thing, and then it won't be enough to go on anything else. Another one, Dan. So the planes are in need to respawn. It just doesn't make sense on the things that are need to re-research. Yeah. It's, it's 
definitely not the way to do things. No, I've noticed that as well. No, I don't think there is either. There's another kill. I'm on four fucking kills, mate. I've killed so far. I've killed an ASU 85, a, a 94K Tater truck. Um, a T44 and an IS2 mod. There's five kills. <laughs> oh my god. See, and now today the hash seems to be working properly. I don't know why. It's just really weird. Oh, it is a nice little tank, this is. It really is good. Art they're out of vehicles. Five kills. Five kills with the on toast. 